Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EWA. This is the second episode, and I can't wait. So much great action for you tonight. And we're about to hear from the champion, Brandon Champion. We are live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the EWA champion, Brandon Champion. What's he got to say? There's nothing I have to say or prove to you people, so you can go ahead and boo and chant boring and tweet about how much you hate me or do whatever the hell you want. Let's get something straight. When I get pissed off, bad things happen, and I'm pissed the hell off. Why? Because I've got to put up with this poor excuse for a city for the next few hours. It's enough to drive any sane man over the edge. Brandon Champion seems like he's in a bad mood right now. I could care less about the politics in this company. I'm not here to be a politician. I'm here to be a superstar, an ass kicker. Love me or hate me, surely you hate me. But this is my time. Grand Champion talking himself up. Yeah, yeah, you guys can keep doing your thing. Keep thinking the EWA universe pays my bills. But y'all ain't pay nothing. So watch me do my thing anyway. Brandon Champion letting it all out right now I simply can't understand how you all worship losers like Tony and Demo over someone like me me who do you think you are choosing them over me I've had enough of this and I've had enough of all of you I'm out of here Well, ladies. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Brandon Champion was leaving the ring, but Tony's music just hit. Better get the agit off his face. He's going to get fired, but here comes Tony. Mr. Sinister is in the building. And last week, Tony lost to Brandon Champion. And it looks like. Tony's out here. I think Tony's challenging him to another match. I don't know. Well, Brandon Champion got out of the ring. There's an official out here. It looks like this is going to be another match. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know who made this decision. Brandon Champion obviously not happy. And I, I don't understand what is going on here. Tony's music just hit out of nowhere, and it looks like this is going to be a match. And look at Brandon Champion right on the attack on Tony. Brandon Champion wants nothing to do with Tony right now. It looks like our general manager is giving Tony one last chance here after the performance he put on last week, but does Tony really deserve it? He lost, so I don't really think so, but nevertheless, it's the GM's decision. So Tony's getting one last chance at a title shot. Oh, Brandon Champion knees to the gut. Imagine, imagine if you're Brandon Champion. How mad do you got to be right now? You beat this guy. And the next week, the GM just gives him another shot at a title shot. And Tony on the offensive. Kicking the crap out of Brandon Champion. And now Tony... With the headlock. What's he doing? Elbow to the back of the head. And now Irish whip. Brandon Champion over the ropes. Tony. Oh, drop kick. Brandon Champion took a hard fall on the outside. And what could be on the mind of Mr. Sinister here? He's telling Brandon Champion to get up. Tony's nowhere close to him. What is Tony looking for here? I don't know. Tony was maybe thinking of some kind of springboard, but he realized he was too far away. Now Brandon Champion gonna capitalize. 
taking down Tony on the outside. And Brandon Champion might go for the count out victory here. The Brandon Champion could care less about this match. Brandon Champion came out here and was letting out all his aggression, saying he doesn't care about the EWA universe and was questioning why people favor, ooh, nice bulldog by Tony, why people were, were favoring people like Tony and Demo over him. Brandon Champion saying, I'm the champion and I deserve respect. I deserve to be in the main event. Brandon Champion very frustrated. And this is just, ooh, got to make him more frustrated. He's taking his anger out on Tony here. Brandon Champion went for a senton there. Missed, and now Tony is better get back in the ring. Referee had a count of eight or nine, I think. Both men back in the ring. Irish whip off the ropes. Both men run into each other there. Brandon Champion over the ropes again. And drop kicking Brandon Champion again to the outside. It's starting to look like Tony wants to keep Brandon Champion on the outside, maybe to do more damage. So that way, maybe he'll be able to um, defeat him easier if Brandon Champion takes more damage. And on the outside, the damage is amplified three times over. And good God, a power bomb on the apron. And oh my God, Tony unleashing on Brandon Champion right now. And where is Tony going? Brandon Champion is down. Tony diving elbow drop to the outside. My God, I don't think Tony hit all of it. He was pretty far away, but he. He hit enough. Tony taking every chance. But Brandon Champion, DDT to Tony. My God. And now Tony looking for another DDT. No, Brandon with the knee. Count of six. Oh, Tony. Choke slam on the floor. Brandon Champion is out. Oh, Tony getting back in the ring. But he can't win by count out here. Count of eight. Brandon Champion's down. But Tony, you can't let this end by count out. And Brandon Champion. Tony gets the victory, but it was by count out. What is the GM going to do about this? I think Brandon Champion was just. He was he was faking the injury. I think Brandon Champion was laid out on the outside just so he could take the count out. And Tony Tony saying, "All right, all right. I don't know what's going to happen about this. I don't know what the GM is going to do." Brandon Champion taking a count out loss, but because it's count out. Tony does not get a title shot. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on here to our next match, which should be an incredible triple threat match. And we will see you after the break. Welcome back to EWA, ladies and gentlemen. And up next, we have a great triple threat match with Anthony Herring, EDP445, and Shannon Shane. I can't wait. Let's get right into this. This should be good. And you hear the music. Here we go, birds. Here we go. Representing the Eagles. EDP 445, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I said last week the Titan was one of the big men in WWE where well, you're looking at another one of the big men in EWA. Maybe the biggest man besides Jason, of course. EDP will hurt you. 680 pounds is EDP. But he is hard hitting. He is faster than you would think. And he has green and white eagles running through his blood, running through his veins. 
and he will represent the Eagles every single night of his life. EDP said that Anthony Herring and Shannon Shane are a bunch of scrubs. We're going to see. comes one of his opponents the underdog Anthony Herring ladies and gentlemen a former EWA champion Anthony Herring has so far been the only person to take that title from Brandon Champion and that was only because he had the money in the bank contract he lost the title at Elimination Chamber. Anthony Herring is hyped up, ready to go here. You gotta know Anthony Herring wants another shot at that title. I still think he gets a, a rematch clause, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we'll find out. And whoever wins this match, nothing but good stuff will happen for them. It'll put them up in the ranks. And here's one of the most un underrated performers in EWA. Someone who I think has a lot of potential. Shannon Shane, a great talent. Shannon Shane has been around for many years, since around 2012, 2013, where he and his brother Rob Shane, one of the top tier tag teams. And then he was placed with a gimmick that made him seem like he was retarded, kind of like a uh, Festus type gimmick. And Shannon Shane ended up leaving that company, and all around the world, Shannon Shane was treated like a joke. Shannon Shane has stated he has reinvented himself. Shannon Shane was in NXT. He was in WWE. He's been all over, and tonight he's here. He's in EWA, and I can't wait for this triple threat match. This is going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, EDP, Anthony Herring, and Shannon Shane. I can't wait, here we go. The bell has rang, and all three men going towards each other. And Shannon Shane going right for Anthony Herring, getting the arm, and leg drop on the arm of Anthony Herring. Anthony Herring, the high flyer in this matchup. EDP, the powerhouse, and I say Shannon Shane, maybe the most hard hitting, mo most technical. And look at this, EDP using his weight to his advantage already. With the walls of Jericho. But Shannon Shane kicking him off and now snap suplex to Anthony Herring. Shannon Shane with the DDT to Anthony Herring. Right on the top of the head. And now Shannon Shane. Oh, discus punch right to the jaw of Anthony Herring. And now Irish whipping EDP off the ropes. Went for an elbow there. EDP blocked it. Oh my God. EDP has got Shannon Shane up. Look at the strength. Power slam to Shannon Shane. EDP doesn't look like he's 680. Oh my god. Oh, he just knocked Anthony Herring out with that elbow. He don't look like he's 680 pounds, but he damn sure feels like it. And nobody can lift him up. As EDP goes for something there, no. Anthony Herring with the neck breaker. Anthony Herring is going to have to use his side size and his speed. His advantage, discus elbow to EDP right in the nose. And Anthony Herring was taunting Shannon Shane from behind. And oh, look at EDP getting himself hyped up. And another discus punch by Shannon Shane. A lot of discus moves in this match. Oh, EDP shoving him back. EDP with a huge belly to belly to Shannon Shane. My God. Oh, Shannon Shane. Oh, shot to the gut of EDP. Oh, 
Repeated chops to EDP and a shot to the face. EDP is down. And now going after Anthony Herring. Shannon Shane with a dominating performance right now. Anthony Herring's face off the top turnbuckle. And now Shannon Shane. Power bomb to Anthony Herring. Shannon Shane in control of this match. Now going second rope. What's Shannon Shane thinking here? Elbow to the back of the head. My God. Uh oh, here comes EDP. Oh, Shannon Shane hitting him in the head. Shots. Repeated punches to EDP. Trying to knock the big man down. EDP not going down. And here comes EDP with the shot. Oh, God. EDP. The strength. The strength of the entire Philadelphia Eagles football team. Oh, Shannon Shane. Oh, he's calling for somebody to get up here. Shannon Shane went for a super kick there. He couldn't reach Anthony Herring because EDP was in the way. Oh, Anthony Herring just got his face busted open, but Anthony Herring with a cutter. Uh-oh, here comes EDP. EDP. Oh, God. The strength. Oh, my God. EDP, no. Anthony Herring dropped on the top turnbuckle. Right on that open wound. EDP knew what he was doing there. Anthony Herring shoving him back. But EDP coming right back at him. Referee better get out the way. Oh, Anthony Herring blocking that. Again, the attack on the arm of EDP. Anthony Herring trying to fire himself up, but gets back suplex for his troubles. And now here comes Shannon Shane putting EDP in the corner. What's he thinking here? Oh, chops. Open handed chops to EDP's chest. Oh my god. Oh, and Anthony Herring with an uppercut, both trying to take this huge man down. And now Anthony Herring with the repeated punches to EDP. Oh, oh. Both Anthony Herring and Shannon Shane know that they have to get EDP out of this match. And EDP is out of the ring. Oh, look at Anthony Herring rolling through. He saw that coming with the arm drag. Kick to the gut. Anthony Herring. With the Selena Del Sol, no. Into a cutter. Nice by Anthony Herring. Anthony Herring feeling the energy from the crowd. The fans are on their feet. They're enjoying this match. Uh-oh. Anthony Herring doing what he does best. Going to the top row, maybe looking for that patented elbow drop. Oh, Anthony Herring went for the spiral tap. Nobody home. Shannon Shane moved out of the way. Irish whipping to the corner. Shannon Shane putting Anthony Herring in the corner. Irish whip into the other corner. Shannon Shane with the knee to the face, throwing him into EDP. Anthony Herring able to counter it, but here comes the big man, EDP, with a huge backbreaker. And just throwing him away. Throwing him like he was a child. And now they're both going after Anthony Herring here. This is kind of unfair right now. Oh, big knee to the chest. Shannon Shane. Off the ropes goes EDP. I'm surprised the rope didn't snap. EDP blocked it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. EDP. Look at the strength of Bryant Moreland. EDP 445 with the stalling suplex. And Shannon Shane is not a small man either. And he nails the suplex. Oh, Shannon Shane. Shoulder tackle knocking EDP down. You have to have a lot of force to knock somebody that big down. Oh my god, what a kick to EDP. Going for the pin here, but Anthony Herring in to save it. And now picking up EDP. What's going to happen here? Oh, in the corner. Oh, Anthony Herring, Irish whip. Oh, oh, kicking EDP right in the stomach. Did you see the impact of that kick? Anthony Herring calling for the rock bottom. He's calling for the rock bottom, but Shannon Shane. Shannon Shane. Oh, the blackout. Shannon Shane with the blackout. And now look at Shannon Shane. He's all over EDP right now. Shannon Shane is on fire. And Anthony Herring is out here. Shannon Shane needs to go for the pinfall. Shannon Shane needs to capitalize. One, two, three. No, Anthony Herring got the shoulder up. All these men look are jockeying for a position, looking to get up in the ranks. What an ensign Gurry by Anthony Herring. All these men wanting a title shot, wanting to move up, wanting to prove themselves. Oh, Anthony Herring, he could be calling for the rock bottom right here. Anthony Herring, Anthony Herring, the move that won him the EWA championship. Rock bottom. 
to Shannon Shane. Uh oh, here comes Bryant Moreland. Big boot to Anthony Herring. And now EDP. Anthony Herring over the ropes. Oh, EDP. Oh my God, EDP is on the second rope. What's gonna happen here? He's got Anthony Herring. Oh, no way. No way. EDP 445 with the suplex from the apron to the mat. That's got to be it. One, no. Shannon Shane broke it up. What an incredible triple threat match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Anthony Herring with the shot to the gut of EDP. Oh, drop kick to the face. EDP still not going down. In the corner goes EDP. Oh, back elbow. EDP too slow there. Knocking EDP out of the ring. There you go. And now Anthony Herring on the attack of Shannon Shane. Repeated strikes by Anthony Herring, but Shannon Shane caught him. And now Shannon Shane with a DDT right to the injured face, right in the open wound, and that might be it. One, two, Anthony Herring gets the shoulder up again. Three great warriors in this match. Three great athletes and look for a submission here. Oh, Shannon Shane. EDP back in the ring, Shannon Shane taking advantage of EDP's slowness. Uh-oh. Putting EDP on the top rope. What in the world? EDP is too big to be up there. Shannon Shane, for the love of God, picking up a 680-pound man. Oh, my God. EDP is finished. EDP is finished. Oh, Anthony Herring with the arm. Oh, went for the kick. Flashback by Shannon Shane. Beautiful counter by Shannon Shane. One, two, is that it? No, Anthony Herring kicks out. What an incredible match. Oh, Anthony Herring. Oh, Hurricane Rana. And that's the speed and the agility of Anthony Herring. One, two, Shannon Shane kicked out. Uh oh. EDP back in the ring. Drop kick to the back of Shannon Shane. EDP. EDP's taunting, he might want to watch out. Oh, sh Anthony Herring sees him. Uh-oh, EDP caught him. Oh no, he's gonna drop him on the ropes. Oh, again attacking the face. And now EDP going for the cover. One, two, Anthony Herring again gets the shoulder up. Anthony Herring, the heart and soul of EWA, the underdog that nobody believed in in the start. But now he's a fan favorite and he's going after EDP right now the chops and the kicks and Anthony Herring into a rolling cutter going for the pinfall one two EDP kicked out and here comes Shannon Shane oh one for the drop kick EDP moved out of the way and now Shannon Shane gonna take advantage all oh, right to the back uh oh EDP throwing Shannon Shane in the corner what's gonna happen here uh oh oh no EDP is putting Shannon Shane on the top rope. Shannon Shane kicking him away. He knew that was bad. Shannon Shane with a drop kick straight to the face of EDP. And that might be it right there. One, two, EDP kicked out again. EDP not staying down. Anthony Herring down on the outside. He's feeling the effects of this match. EDP is down right now. Shannon Shane going for another cover. One. EDP kicking out again. What does Shannon Shane have to do to put away EDP? Oh, Shannon Shane calling for something here. He's calling for something. But Anthony Herring with the neck breaker from behind. And Anthony Herring now attacking EDP. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Anthony Herring has got EDP on the top rope. What's happening here? There's no way. Anthony Herring's too small. No, no, no! Superplex to the outside of the ring. EDP is done. EDP just had a, he, he was convulsing. EDP might have just had a heart attack. EDP is finished in this match. Oh, Shannon Shane, Shannon Shane, Shannon Shane. Blackout by Shannon Shane. And this match is over. One, two, three. Shannon Shane picks up the win, ladies and gentlemen. What a triple threat match. What a triple threat match. Look at this right here. Anthony Herring with a beautiful move, but 
Nobody home. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm impressed by all three of these men. That huge super kick right there. Look at that. Shannon Shane. Oh, he's telling the referee to get away from him. Shannon Shane proving to everybody that he is not a joke. A very impressive win by Shannon Shane. Props to everybody in that match. That was a great match. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear from Demo after what happened last week when, they, when he and his partner Jason were viciously attacked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EWA, and we're going to hear from Demo. And I don't know what Demo's going to say. You can tell Demo's pissed off after what happened last week. What's Demo going to say? I'm not in the mood to play games right now, so let's get down to business. I got something to say, and I'm not waiting a second longer to say it. Demo fired up. There's an old saying that you should never meet your heroes because they'll only let you down. Whoever said that never met this man. He lives up to the myth. He surpasses the legend. He defies description. Tonight, he's going to prove it. What is Demo talking about? What in the world is Demo talking about? If there's one thing I can say about this city, it's that you're always ready for a fight. You know what? You guys got me in the spirit, so hell, that's what I've come here to do. Austin lad, why don't you dust off your big boy boots and come give these people what they want? Oh, he's calling out Austin lad. One of the men who attacked him and Jason last week before their match. Uh-oh. Here comes Austin. Here comes Austin Ladd. What is Austin going to say for his actions last week? It looks like Austin got a haircut. What has Austin got to say? That wasn't the welcome I'd hoped for. But I, I'd also hoped I wouldn't be stuck in this town. I guess it's not my night, but maybe it is. Because the guy, this guy made the biggest mistake of his life by letting me in this ring. And I'm going to make him regret it. All right, Austin. Oh, I have to tell you, I was hoping for this. I really wanted you to come out here so that I had the chance to show you up in front of the entire EW, EWA universe. So let's get down to it. Demo challenging Austin to a match. Is Austin going to accept? What is wrong with your face? Seeing you up close, I never knew how bad your skin is. You should go see a doctor for that. I can help send you to the doctor, that is. I'll give you a few other things worth checking out. Ooh, Austin saying he's going to injure multiple parts of Demo. Is he going to accept this match? I'm starting to get the impression that you're looking for a fight, but that can't be possible, can it? I mean, anyone who has been paying attention knows that trying to beat me is an exercise in fertility of course you aren't looking for a fight that's just silly oh so he's saying Austin's scared to fight okay listen this has been fun but let me cut to the point I'm here for a match with you sure I might embarrass you and end your career but look on the bright side when we're through there's going to be so much to mop up that the WWE the EWA is probably going to hire an extra janitor 
Tony and his custodian job on stop. I didn't mean nothing by that. Your barbaric challenge doesn't prove anything except that your inferior mentality and short temper. I am confident that we can speak with management and have them arrange this match between us, but it will take place once I've decided that you've earned the opportunity to compete against me. Dima, you wanted the match. Austin, Austin accepted it and said he wanted a match with you, and now you're saying he has to earn it. Damn it, I will not be denied. If I don't get what I want, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna snap, damn it. Someone hold me back before I break this man in half. Oh, this is getting intense. They're about to fight right now. Did you honestly think that that was going to work? Do I look like a fool? The sad truth is that there are two different kinds of people in this world. Winners and losers. I'm a winner because I use my brains as well as my brawn. That's why when we finally face each other, it'll be on my terms. And mark my words, when we do fight, you will once again be what you've always been. A loser. I was calling Austin a loser. You know what? You don't deserve to fight me. I will always be the better man, and I refuse to lower myself to your schoolyard bully level. When you're ready to have an intellectual conversation with me, perhaps, then I'll allow you the opportunity to fall and defeat at my hands. Until then, there will be no match between us. But ladies and gentlemen, what is going to happen? I'm getting word from the general manager that this match is going to take place. It's going to take place next. The general manager is saying Demo doesn't make the decisions around here. He doesn't make the matches. So this match is going to happen next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we're getting ready for this match. And here's Austin. Oh wait, Demo. Oh, Austin attacking Demo again. And the referee's shoving him off, He's telling him to get in the ring. Oh, and now these two are going at it. Punch to the face of Austin. The referee losing control. Oh my good lord, Jesus. The referee has lost it. The referee has completely lost it. And Demo and Austin are going at it. Uh, we need, we may need some help for the referee here. We may need some help, the referee. Um, spine buster by Demo. Oh, and now he's got Austin in a submission. Oh, well, Austin kicking him off. I don't know what's wrong with the referee, but that's funny as hell. We're going to have to hire a new referee. Off the ropes, arm drag by Austin. Oh, a shot to the back of the head. Austin, no, Demo. Shot to the face. Uh-oh. Austin to the leg. But Demo off the ropes. Arm drag to Austin. I'm sorry, hip, to hip toss. I apologize. Oh, countered by Austin. And now Austin. Uppercut to Demo. Jesus Lord. And now, uh-oh. Look out. Mm, slamming Austin down. Just uh, ignore the referee. He's fine. Going for a belly to belly. Austin chopping the ears. Code breaker by Demo. What a retaliation. Over oh, Austin kicking him away. These two are going at it here. Oh, kick by Demo. And the referee's having his own little dance party. Austin up against the ropes. Clothesline outside the ring goes Austin. And here comes Demo. Is the referee even gonna be able to count? Uh-oh. Demo calling for something. What's he what's he looking for? Demo off the apron takes down Austin. Oh, Austin kicking him away. Oh, the referee is counting. Somehow, some way, the referee's still able to do his job. He's a trooper. Oh, Demo back up to his feet. Here he comes. Austin telling him to come on. And here he comes as Demo has him up. Oh no. Dropped him on the ropes. Go for the pin. One. Kick out. I couldn't tell if the referee was counting there. I went for the kick to the back. Uh oh. Austin. No, Demo. Back flipped out of it. And Demo with the Uranagi. 
Is that it? One. No, Austin kicked out. And now Demo thought that was it. That referee's like really bothering me. Now Austin's starting to get into it. Uh oh, Demo. Demo might be thinking T Bone. He might be thinking T Bone. No. Austin blocking it. A Demo. Spine buster to Austin. Oh, kick to the face. And the referee is still spinning around. Demo up to the second rope. Uh oh. Swanton bomb. On to Austin. Going for the cover. One. That looked more like a count that time. Oh, now Demo wrapping the legs around the head of Austin, but Austin gets out of it. Uh oh, Demo. Ooh, to Austin. Shot to the face. Now Demo looking for a suplex and he nails it. Leg drop by Demo. Demo up to the second rope again. Calling for Austin to get up. What could he be thinking? Oh, went for the drop kick there, I believe. And nobody was home. But with Demo still countering Austin. Demo was saying that Austin's not on his level. As he hits a big Samoan drop, he was saying that Austin's not good enough to face him, but general manager said that he is facing him. Count of one, and Austin kicks out again. Oh, elbows to the side of the head of Austin. Ooh, right to the shoulder. Oh, sweeping out the leg from under Demo. Uh-oh, Austin. Austin could be looking for it. Austin could be looking for it here. Austin was going for it, but got countered by Demo. Oh, Demo. T-bone suplex. T-bone suplex. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. One, two. Austin kicked out at the last second. My God. How did he kick out of a T-bone suplex? Stomping down Austin. Oh, kicking Demo away. Austin needs to get back in this match. Oh, kicking him away. Oh, Demo. You're Nagi. Again to Austin. And look, Austin's out. Austin is out. But Demo's still on the attack. He's giving Austin some payback for what happened last week. Demo, T-bone suplex again. And that's it. One, two, no, Austin kicked out again. How? How did Austin kick out a second time? Oh, Austin with a huge uppercut. Austin went for a cutter there, got countered. Elbow to the face. Chop to the chest. Demo coming with the shots. Oh, putting Austin up on the top. What is going to happen here? This is bad. Arm drag off the top. Austin is done. And Demo Taunton, he knows how good he is. The UWF champion. Shout out to UWF. Go subscribe to Brandon Champion to watch UWF. Demo is the UWF champion, and he looks to become the only person to hold the UWF championship and the EWA championship, which is held by the UWF owner, Brandon Champion. It's kind of a whole weird thing. But Demo picking Austin up again. Oh, he's going to drop him on the ropes again. Oh, my God. Ramon is headed to the turnbuckle, and that might be it. One, two, Austin. Again, not staying down. He wants to prove to Demo, I guess. He wants to prove himself to Demo, I guess. Demo saying he wasn't on his level. Austin trying to say, yes, I am on your level. Oh, Demo, stunner to Austin. And we all know that that's JD's finisher. Maybe trying to insult Austin. Oh, Demo dropping the fist and Austin has been busted open. Oh, and Demo's got the legs wrapped around. Oh, but Austin rolling him over, and Austin able to get out of it. 
And Austin going for belly to belly, no countered. Uh oh, Demo. Demo looking for the spear. Is he gonna hit it? Spear to Austin. Oh, Austin's done. He's convulsing. It's over. Demo's gonna win. Oh, never mind. Demo picking him back up. Demo should have went for the pin there. Uh oh, Austin. Oh, with the muddy boots right to the face. And Demo might be out here. He got caught right in the nose. One, two. Oh, Demo got the shoulder up. Now what does Austin have to do? And Demo is down. Where is Austin going? Austin springboard sent on onto Demo, but he hurt himself. And now both men are down. The referee is glitching this whole ring up. Oh, elbow to the face, shot to the gut. Demo coming back, kick to the leg. And another T-bone. And this match is over. It has to be. One, two, no, Austin again. What's it gonna take to put Austin down? Oh, Demo, snap near. I understand you wanna prove yourself in the AWA, but how far can you go? How much punishment can you take? How many T-bone suplexes can you take before you just can't get up? Uh-oh, Austin, Austin. Oh, welcome to Chicago. What a backbreaker. Oh, Austin, where's he going? Oh, look at Austin, he's frustrated. What is he? Now the referee's starting to count him out. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Where's Austin going? I think Austin's frustrated with himself. Austin's leaving. Austin's trying to leave. He just said, fuck this match. Austin's trying to leave. And Demo's coming up after him. And uh oh, Austin again is frustrated. Oh, Demo on the attack, not letting Austin go anywhere. Both men fighting on the stage. Count of five. Oh, snap suplex on the stage. What is wrong with Austin? He keeps getting frustrated with himself, or he's frustrated about something. Oh, no. He's doing Demo so dirty right now. Count of eight. Oh, wait, Austin. He could have got back in the ring. What is what is Austin doing? Count of nine. Demo's going to get counted out. And Austin wins by count out. What a cheap victory by Austin. What a cheap and utter disgraceful victory. It was a great match up until Austin just... I thought he was leaving to go backstage and then Demo chased him, but I think it was Austin's plan all along. And Austin with the victory over Demo. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this episode of EWA is over. Austin defeats Demo by countout and what a what a horrible way to win what a cheap win by Austin I'm sure something's gonna happen about this next week I know Demo's not gonna let that fly but until then ladies and gentlemen this has been EWA thank you all so much for watching and we will see you all next week see you later